Hey, welcome to Color Up. Today I'm here at the Grand Sierra Resort. Now today I'm gonna to take my bubble craft strategy and move it up to the roll to win table. What's nice about the roll to win table, here at the GSR it's always $5, so it's still relatively cheap, but you actually get to throw the dice, so that's pretty cool. Now the strategy I'm gonna to run today is basically go across all the numbers, and after three hits, I'm gonna pull three numbers down. So what that gives me is a profit with three numbers working, and from there, the sky's the limit. So let's get after it and see what happens. So these tables do take a rewards card, so make sure you put in your rewards card. I don't think the points pay as quickly as like a slot machine, but uh, I'm going, I took my numbers before. I'll let you know after the words how many points we accrued uh, with the strategy we're gonna play. So I'm gonna put in $300. All right, the first thing, I'm gonna input my name, which just shows up on the table below. And let's get a tip going for the dealer. All right, let's see if we can make it happen this time. So we're going to go all the way across. <clears throat> and we need the magic number three, right? Do 11 is not going to help us? Mm. We are in trouble here. <clears throat> but again, that's why you gotta have a bankroll to play the numbers, right? All right, we're out on the six. Hopefully we have a lucky shooter here. No more bets. Oh, we're down below the magic number there. <laughs> All right, there's our first hit. Hopefully we can get it back. This is, this is the roll. All right, there's a six point hit. We're gonna have to wait to get our third hit, so that's two hits though. So our bets are gonna go off. Tempted to turn them on, but we'll just, we'll just keep with uh, how we've been playing it. Oh, 
All right, we're out on that six. Should have my bets working, right? I'm not gonna say it, but you guys, uh, you probably know how many more I need. So my bet should come on here. Let's hit a four. A four would be a good one. There we go, 10, that'll work just as well. So that pays 950 instead of a place bet, which would pay nine. All right, so we're gonna, we've got our three hits. We've got profit for her shooting. And what do you wanna go with? We'll go with five, six, and eight. The number's not in the field, right? We'll see if that works out for us. So spread, collect, press and spread, press and collect. A little bit of a grind, it's not super aggressive, but long videos like this, I feel like I am repeating myself and I, and I, and I am to a degree, but all right, there's the seven, so at least we weren't hurt by that particular shooter. So I'm going to shoot, see if I can get it done. See if I have the, the magic touch. So I'll do five dollars on the line. And then we'll cover the rest of the numbers. It's tricky, and those things are so thick. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can roll this 11 here. All right, we're out on the four. Looks like my batteries are still okay for now. So I'm the only one back at the table, so I might go a little quicker. So buy, place, place, buy, buy, and we're looking for three hits or a four and a ten. Yep, two outside hits. All right, there's one. Hit the nine. Another alternate way to do this is as a number hits, pull it down. Um, it's a little more risky to leave them up, but I like to leave them up. That way I just have more dice combinations covered. So a little more risk, but again, you're just looking for three hits. So. No more bets. You can't get three hits. It's tough to win at this game, no matter how you're, uh, how you're betting. All right, there's the six. Two hits for us. Oh, we hit our nine. So there's our three. Now well, we've got to pick some numbers. Nine's been rolling, looks like. So maybe I'll keep that up, or should I go with the five? I don't know. Let's pull down one. We got the four, so we'll have to run it that way. We got the four, six, and eight working for us. 
So right now I'm shooting on the casino's dollar, per se. Basically I have no risk, right? I've won more than the 15 that I have out there bet. No more bet. at eight. I'm tempted to just to press right away, but I do want a little more coverage. Give me at least fourth number. And again, we're really not going to make money unless we get that big long roll. So um, let's go ahead and get the five bot. We got four numbers and now we'll do a press and collect. Well, I'm going to collect first. So collect and press. No more bets. A little slow to get started, but again, we don't have any money at risk here. All right, we don't have the nine or ten, so those are holes in the system right now. I'm gonna throw them down at the other end. Four through eight. No more bets. I'm trying to hit that second uh, notch down there. Right there is what I'm trying to hit. So I'm going to click this one, and uh, now we start a sequence of pressing and collecting. So, 584. Hot shooter. Would you like to place a hard way? Hot shooter, we got up to that average over eight and a half rolls. So now we get to enjoy the flames from here on out. out for us well I don't have a bet on the nine so it didn't work out nine. for me but it's nine. a little longer throw than I wanted to try to throw it on that second like level there This is the bummer about regressing and being off some numbers, no right? Bad. You're rolling numbers, you're not getting paid. Just like anything, there's a trade-off. It's just about where I wanted it. All right, we hit our point four. Four, easy four. Only bummer about that, you get paid one to one, right? On the pass line. I could add odds, but really this is a place betting system. So, and now because I'm coming out, I've got to have that uh, line bet. <clears throat> and if we roll, uh, we'll pick a number. But basically, we've got four numbers. Oh no, we want to press one. That was a pressing hit, so we'll press a number. Which should we press? Maybe that's right where I wanted to throw it, right on the five. Five. It's five. So we'll move our bet to the nine. We're by the nine, and what do we want to press? We'll press. Um, 
Well, heck, we'll just press the five by doing it with odds. No more bets. So if we hit any hit, we'll collect. Twelve craps is no good for us. Perfect. So we'll collect. Next hit we'll press. It's not one of our numbers. He likes it down on the other end. And I'm just missing out on some rolls, right? We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to release this as a really long video or break it up. I don't know what to do with these. I'm not sure if I put out a really long video. You know, it's worth watching. A little bit longer than I wanted, but it worked out. We got the six. So that, this hit we're pressing. So... Pays 584, betting five. Basically, I'm only collecting 84 cents there, but that's okay. Now we got a good bet on the five and six. We're gonna collect on the next hit. And ideally, it's the five or six that hits that we collect on. No more Off my mark, but we'll take it. It's a 10. We're missing that one. And we're looking for that five or six. And again, I, don't, I have improper bets. It's okay on these machines. It might be bad for beginners kind of getting used to because then they go to a real table no more bets. they may let you do that but you're going to get rounded down pretty bad so you want to make it in increments of six dollars but here it's okay that's where i wanted to throw it there we go we got the eight so this time I'm just collecting unfortunately it's not a ten dollar bet Next number we press. I just worry about these ones because it's such a slow pace compared to my edited well, not edited, but the videos I roll in my studio, which could go so fast. Here we've got uh, 
little bit slower. So you're up, you're up the right now? No, that's a, a little bit short of where I wanted it. Two aces, two dots. We're just looking for inside numbers. It's like on collector press, I can't remember. Never hurts to just collect, but I think I'm on a I'm on a press. So press says so now we five, six, or nine is what we really want to see come in. So now we're in collect mode. It'll be okay, but I'd rather get paid the uh, fourteen dollars. We hit the 10 though. Looking for that 5, 6, or 9. exactly the one we didn't want to uh, collect on. <laughs> it's okay, we're going to collect. We'll press the next one. <laughs> Tempted. I, I might, you can always switch it up. If I hit a five, six, or nine, I might collect first. There's no secret to it, huh? Getting it over there. <laughs> That's where I wanted it. All right, we hit a nine, so we hit a press. Over. I'm just gonna collect this one. Breaking my kind of sequence a little bit. Or you know what, I'll press the eight. I'll kind of do a hybrid. So I'm gonna pull a little more off and then I'll press that eight up. So now we got $10 in all the numbers. See if we can get another collect. A little short. Yo, 11. Yo, 11, yo. Place your bet. I don't know, maybe I'll edit these where only I'm throwing or, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to divide these up just because they're so slow and so long. But uh, I want it to be entertaining for you as well. No more bets. We're looking for an inside number. A little longer than I wanted. We'll take it. We've got that six. Collect, next hit, press. So 11, 67. And I, instead of pressing, I might uh, divide it cover the five and ten. So 
right where I wanted it. We got the four. <laughs> That's why I want to get the four and ten covered. You notice my roll count's high, but I just kind of haven't been hitting the numbers that I need. So, but that's the kind of the trouble with playing a little conservative like this. But it does keep you in the game. So this would be considered a really big roll. You're like, well, you don't have all that much to show for it. If I can get a couple more hits, no more of that. it could uh, ratchet up quick from here. So we'll see how it goes. bit longer than I wanted. We'll take it. Point hit on the five. It's five. It's five. So we paid a little bit more there. True odds. I'm just going to stick with five dollar pass line bet. And as you can see, if I if I didn't bet anymore or kept these bets off, we'd be in good shape. We'd have, we could have walked away with a little win, but you know, we'll see if we can win even more. If I can keep this roll going. First, let's get a point established. All right, front line seven, so we'll take that. It's when we, you want to roll it. And again, that's why I personally don't work my bets. It's a long roll. The seven's going to appear, right? It's got to appear. Um, so you want it to appear when the puck is off. So I've seen a ton of huge rolls. They all include seven, but the seven just happened on that come out roll. So that's why I personally don't bet it. go we're gonna buy the five and buy the ten no more bet. we'll go collect and press from here we're looking for the real tables die underneath me here a little short all right, we hit the point though. No luck, huh? on that eight. I mean, my bag's unzipped. Maybe it rolled in my bag, it but... It was, it, was, it was rolling kind of, kind of flat. Though, Jeremy. It didn't come in here, yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll move this. We'll do five dollar buy and we'll... Get that eight up to 10. Yeah, and we'll go from there. So I think we, no more yeah, no, we're okay. 
Alright, we had another one. So we'll press that up. We'll collect the next one and you see we're back up to our original starting. So we made some money on this shooter myself. It's a big roll, but I felt that one. They're throwing dice at me at this point. Right on the line, that's where I wanted it. Oh, that ends the roll. What do we roll? 31. So down it comes, we have $50 bet. 303. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I ended up the day $3 profit. And, um, you know, so I didn't really get anywhere, but I was down, I came back. And, uh, I, but it's fun, right? And I'll go ahead and update it. I'll go scan my card again and see where we are as far as points are and let you know, you know, I played about an hour and a half. I saw my kind of average bet. Um, you know, I'm not sure how this thing calculates it, but I'll kind of give you an idea. Maybe we can kind of figure it out together and in the comments you can let me know how it worked out. So, um, hope you like the roll to win machine. I'm planning on getting more and more of these out to you. And hope you like them. Just let me know down in the comments. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.